Greetings to all of you Group Life hosts and co-hosts. This is Greg, and I'm here right along the Minnehaha Parkway where just nine days ago, 10, 12, 13,000, I don't know how many runners went by on the way to running off or accomplishing a marathon. Amazing stuff. And they did it. One of the ways they did it was because they got some real encouragement by people along this route. Thousands and thousands of people doing that for them, including a bunch of us on the West River Parkway. I'm here to give you some real encouragement because you are doing something that's incredibly important and to also remind you that in your role in making group life happen, you're giving people some real encouragement. Not just people in your groups, but our larger community. In fact, the much larger community all around Minneapolis. You have no idea how big the ripples are from the from what you are doing in people's lives. A, being a group life host is, is really pretty simple. Not always so easy. We'll talk about that in a second. But it's simple. But it is not insignificant. It's incredibly significant. I've often been telling people since day one that if you want a position of importance, a position of power, take us well, don't worry about getting on the board. Don't worry about being on some task force or some team. Be a group life host because that's where stuff happens. Take us well is organized really for one basic reason, and that is just to connect people with God and with one another in ways that has impact on their lives and helps them be the people God wants them to be. And, uh, you know, that's what happens in group life. That's where... Uh, God really gets that kind of traction in our lives. So as you can have impact in people's lives through group life, you know, that's what it's all about. So this is the time to think big. And uh, and that goes back to this, you know, simple being a group life host is really pretty simple. It's getting people together, connecting them with each other, making sure they feel cared about and invited and um, making sure there's the material and the environment for them to have a good experience. That's all just pretty basic stuff. But it's not always so easy because it does take time. It does take effort. Uh, it takes forethought. Um, it takes some sacrifice on your part. It, it means, um, you know, you put yourself a little bit on the back burner before and after the meeting, be- the gathering, because you really want to make sure that people are attended to and, uh, you know, that no one leaves with a hurt that was not uncovered. It, it means you take more than 15 minutes just to get your house ready beforehand or find who's going to have it at their house. But uh, you go through the materials and make sure that, you know, the, uh, wells are primed so that uh, they can pump out the, the life-giving water that people are going to need during that meeting. That means maybe making sure you're there on Sunday morning a little bit ahead of time too so that you can connect with the people in your group and maybe find some other people that need your group. But it might mean a little bit of sacrifice of um, being vulnerable and uh, throwing some stuff out there, sharing stuff from your life and encouraging people to share stuff from their lives. Uh, this is life-changing stuff and There's really nowhere and no way it's going to happen if if you're not leading the way, if you're not modeling it and showing to other people. So I don't know where your group is right now. Um, Maybe you've got tons of people, and that's fantastic. Maybe you've got a long list and not a lot of people showing up. Maybe you're kind of a small group. This is not the time to say, well, this is all we got, and we'll see what we can do with it. No, this is the time to still think big, to dream big. Know that God made us in a way where we are going to, really blossom and grow when we are in these smaller groups of people where we can be accountable, we can be mutually supportive, we can learn and talk and uh, teach one another. A group life is exactly that. God is waiting for your group to be to exist and to be healthy so that God can fill it up with people. So, you know, don't resign yourself to anything. Continue to dream big. Take small steps, finding those people, finding a way to be a group that really works for you. Uh, let us help you if you're stuck on some of those things. It, it, it's not always easy. But it's pretty simple stuff. It's called Dreaming Big, Taking One Step at a Time. Uh, I want to make sure that you are invited on October 26th that evening. Uh, Chris and I are going to have a little soiree at our house, uh, 5133 14th Avenue South. Come on over, and we're just going to have some fun. Um, Celebrate a little bit, answer questions, talk about things, dream big, and uh, realize what next steps are. Uh, So be there and bring someone along if you want. Um, Melissa will get you all kinds of details about that sort of stuff. I just can't thank you enough. Um, you know, Jacob's Well is so important to me and to what my life has been about for decades that um, I just can't help but do anything but this. And I thank you for being a part of this vision, something that God is inspired and God is empowering and God is making sure it goes forward. Uh, so thank you. And uh, let's keep doing this together. We just appreciate it so much. Bye-bye.